I'm a former visa officer, and what is the visa officer looking for during your visa interview? This is a question that many visa applicants have for me, is what's going on? What, why are they doing the interview? What does the visa officer want to know? Why do I have to show up for this interview when other countries just allow you to submit documents, to submit your application, and then you get a decision without having to go for an interview? Well, what the visa officer is looking for is two things. One is confidence that they know everything relevant about your application. They need to feel like they know what they need to know in order to make a decision. And that decision can be either to issue or refuse. But to issue, they need to be confident they have all the information. To refuse, I'll tell you, their managers even tell them there's no such thing as a bad refusal. If they don't think that they have all the information, that they don't understand the entirety of the situation, they are fully authorized to just refuse the visa without getting all that information. Many visa applicants come out of their interview saying, but they never even looked at my documents. They don't need to. It's your responsibility to make sure they feel confident they have all the information necessary in order to issue the visa. So that's the first thing they're looking for, is the confidence that they know everything. The second thing that they're looking for is the assurance that you do qualify for the visa. So knowing everything is the first step, but knowing everything could mean they know everything that they need to refuse you. So what you need to make sure is that they know everything and they are going to feel that you are a person who deserves to get the visa, you are qualified for the visa, and they trust that you're going to use it well. That's the other part. They need to trust that you're going to use it well. Many times when people are refused their visa, they're given the same template letter that says you've been refused under 214B. If you read that document carefully, you might feel a little bit confused because what it talks about are ties to your home country. You've lived your entire life in your home country. Your family is in your home country. It's your country. How could you not have ties to your home country? Well, the visa officer is authorized to refuse your visa under 214B and those are those that's what's listed under that regulation as the reasons why they can apply that but in actuality the visa officer can use 214B to refuse anyone a visa for any reason if they don't feel confident that you're going to use the visa correctly if they don't feel confident that you've told them the exact truth so in essence getting that 214B slip doesn't mean always that they have understood all of your criteria, your situation, your circumstances, your finances, your family situation, and they've judged that those ties are insufficient. Sometimes it means that they don't believe what you've told them. They don't think that you really do have all these funds that you say. They don't believe that you have the job that you say you have. And you're going to get the same refusal. So how do you combat that? How do you get ready to overcome that? preemptively. Don't let it happen first and then come back and try to overcome it the next time. How do you overcome that the first time? Is by making sure, one, the visa officer feels confident that they know everything about your situation. There are no relevant details that they still don't have any insight into. And two, that they know that you're going to use the visa well. That's what they're looking for. It's not just checking boxes. It's not, do they have this document? If so, then approve. If not, then refuse. It's not, okay, I asked them the question, why do you want to study in the US? And there's a list of good answers for issuances and a list of bad answers for refusals. That's not how it is. It's about the feeling that the visa officer has about you. The feeling, the confidence that they have in you going to be a good user and holder of your US visa. They have to feel confident that that's what you're going to do before they're going to basically Take a risk and give you a visa. It's not that risky for them, but if you think about it from their professional point of view, what are their incentives? Well, they don't want to make a mistake. What's a mistake in their view? A mistake is issuing the visa to someone who's going to misuse the visa. So if they refuse your visa, they're avoiding that risk. If they issue you the visa, they're assuming a little bit of that risk, that if down the road you go to the US and you don't return, you misuse the visa, their name is attached to that visa issuance as the person who thought that you were going to use the visa well. So you're trying to make them confident that that risk is worth it because they do want to do their job well, they do want to make the correct decision. You can help them do that 
by making them confident they know everything and making them trust that you're going to use the visa well. That's how you're going to get your visa issued.